Well, hello, God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden seeing you here, and I pray that you're having a fantastic day, and I want to start by wishing you, you, and especially you, wishing you and yours a very, very, very happy Jesus Pride Month. You know, here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, we have declared June. June to be Jesus Pride Month. This is the time that we've set aside here at the church or oh, to be a counter voice to the voice of the madness. There's a lot of madness going around today and people are celebrating a lifestyle that God calls praise the Lord and abomination. And I'm telling you, we have not changed here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ at all. And pastors, I hope that you too are celebrating at your church Jesus Pride Month and, and making a statement because I'm telling you, I, I think the world has gone mad. Did you hear, I'm sure you have, that the uh, Carolina Panthers, you know, that team, has uh, hired their first transgender uh, cheerleader. So, and it had to be black. Gary had to be a black guy. Got some brother uh, out there shaking his rump like he's a, uh, a female uh, cheerleader. And now, I don't know, you know, I don't know, Panthers fans, how you going to take it. You know, that's, I'm, I'm not a Panthers fan. Uh, God bless them. But I tell you, what, what we're seeing is, whether it's the Carolina Panthers, whether it's WWE, whether it is uh, uh, whatever, uh, the cor these corporations, all of these commercials, and, 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 uh, and, and whether it is of all, of all of them, Fox News, yes, my conservative friends who are watching me, good old Fox have began to virtual signal. I guess Fox have decided to say, hey, we're down with it also. So they're virtual signaling and letting everybody know that they support the LBGTQ plus community. You better watch that word plus. You better watch the plus. You better watch the plus. Because when, when it is revealed what the plus is, oh, children are in trouble. And those who are who hitching their wagons to the plus, you may be hitching your wagon to the most heinous thing since abortion. And that is pedophilia. Oh, it's a wicked movement. And, and I'm here to call it out in the name of Jesus. And I'm telling you, uh, all of a sudden now, you, you see uh, conservatives getting involved in it. I thank God I've said to you, my friends, over and over and over, no one's hand is in my pocket. I serve the Lord Jesus Christ. I am a registered non-affiliate. I am a conservative in my views uh, and, and liberal in some. I believe in helping people. I believe in giving to the poor. The Bible teaches he that giveth to the poor lendeth to the Lord. And the, the track record of, of upper room and our uh, servitude in the community stands for itself. And it is quite stellar. And we will continue to do so. But I tell you, I am a born again Bible believing Christian. I serve the God of the Bible and I come down on the side of issues that are uh, in line with biblical Christianity, not with this new Christianity that they have out now, but biblical Christianity. Because what we're seeing, Gary, is a syncretization. We are synchro We are bringing things into our Christianity. It's being so watered down till you can hardly call it Christianity anymore. And so when you make your stand and you come down on side of scripture, you're accused of being controversial and judgmental and all these other uh, nondescript, uh, 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 dumb titles that people try to apply to you, which is supposed to try to embarrass you or to fight you or to silence you. I'm not falling for it. I'm going all the way with Jesus. Now, I tell you, I got I to hurry right quick. We got into this mess, you know, I hate to say it, and I know what you're going to say. There he goes again, uh, bashing Obama. But Obama's not the president. He's not. But I tell you, he left a legacy.
His administration was the first administration to read uh, uh, Title Seven of the listen of the 1964 Voting Rights Act. It 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 says um, um, uh, employment discrimination. It's against employment discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, and national origin. Now everybody knows in reading this race, color, religion sex and national origin. The word sex here is male and female. Well, the Obama administration changed the definition. They expanded it to include who you have sex with. So now uh, the rights that people had based on being human beings as God made them, being the color that God made us, serving the the Lord uh, uh, and, 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 and serving in America, you can serve whom you want, and we're not basic. We're not uh, discriminating uh, against people based on national origin. Uh, he just decided, and his administration to, and the people who was for it, uh, and many of you, you feel bad about it. But hey, this is what elections matter. This is where we are today. So now, cities, states, towns, businesses, churches are being pressured to recognize Pride Month. Pride Month. You you got, I read, I I saw where one uh, artist, I will not name the artist, uh, gave a great big shout out to to her friends in the LBGT Q plus and pride community and, and and God bless her heart. She can't be thinking. She can't be thinking. You know, you can't condone uh, anything and uh, and be against it at the same time. Gary, I'm, 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 I'm learning that a lot of people don't know what condone means. They don't know the definition of the word. And so when they're saying I don't condone certain behavior, your actions say that you, that you do. So we've got a lot to talk to you about. I'm excited about tonight, my friends. I really, I really uh, 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 got you here to invite you to be a part of our men's weekend. Now we just we just come out of our national men's perfecting men conference. We hosted it here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. I thank God for my uh, co-director, the mighty Bishop Michael B. Golden Jr. We teamed up and we had a ball. Thank you, Presiding Bishop for allowing us to do this wonderful thing. And thank you, Church of God in Christ. Thank you, Upper Room. Thank you, North Carolina Third. Thank you, Saints, for coming together, making it uh, the success that it was. But here at the Upper Room, Church of God in Christ, we have for years had our own men's, uh, either a men's conference or men's weekend, June the 9th through the 12th. Starting tonight, we are having the in-house Upper Room Church of God in Christ Men's Weekend. Our president of our men's department is the one and only Elder Anthony Wilson. He's doing a tremendous job. We have special guests who's going to be with us tomorrow night. Bishop Elijah Hankins, yes, general board member and a preacher. God Almighty, what an awesome man of God Bishop Hankins is. His, his, his motto, his saying is, every time I turn around, the Lord is blessing me. And this mighty man of God will be here tomorrow night uh, for our family night. And we've asked the men of the church to invite your families, get your wives, get your children, everybody be in place. And this man of God is going to feed us the word of the Lord. Uh, but and our, our theme is, uh, consecrated men, consecrated men, consecrated men. There has been a time when we need to be consecrated. The time is now because we're living in the time of lawlessness. I got to wrap this up. But, you know, the Bible teaches that the mystery of iniquity doth already work. That is the mystery of lawlessness. Laws that we have in the books to protect us from gun violence, to protect our borders, even to protect Supreme Court justices as they uh, ponder decisions. These laws are not being um, enforced. And we're talking about making new laws, but I think a good place to start is to enforce the laws that we already have on the book. Uh, uh, 18 U.S. Code uh, 1507, picketing and parading. Whoever with the intent of interfering with, 
obstructing or impeding the administration of justice or with the intent of influencing any judge, jurors, witness, or court officers in the discharge of his duty, pickets or parades in or near a building housing a court of the United States or in or near a building or residence occupied or used by such judge, juror, witness, or court officer with, uh, with such intent uses any sound truck or similar device or reports or resorts, excuse me, to any other demonstration in or near any building or residence shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than one year or both. When they show you on the news people protesting the houses of Supreme Court justices going to their house, these people are breaking the law and the law is not being enforced. They're breaking the law. And isn't it amazing? We keep hopping back to January the 6th. How about today? They're breaking the law. The brief was illegally leaked and, there, and, the, deci and, and the decision has not been made yet or, or it ha at least it has not been announced. And do you really think, you protesters, do you really think, do you really think that that's the way you're going to get the Supreme Court justices to vote in your favor? You all are some of the dumbest people ever. And uh, we're praying for you that the Lord will save you. And we're praying that God pro provides peace and safety to all of the justices. You see what happened just yesterday with uh, Kavanaugh, a madman, tried his best to... Uh, go to his house and with the intentions of murdering him and many of the major newspapers, many of our political leaders, even including the president of the United States, have not said a word as of yet to denounce that man's behavior. By the time you see this, perhaps they would have. I hope that they do. So in all of this lawlessness with everything that's going on, I want to invite you to join me right here, right tonight, right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. And I might throw a little preaching in there since we are in our men's weekend and God is going to speak and the Lord is going to move. And I want to invite you to come. All of my friends, come. And, and uh, as I go off, as I go off, I, I want go have, get you some ice cream. Get a hot dog and a hamburger. Thank God for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Uh, display proudly your love and affection for the Lord Jesus Christ. Wouldn't you just doing this because they, 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 they designated June as Pride Month for Homosexuals? I certainly am. I'm not giving ground to the devil. I don't believe in giving place to the devil. I believe in making a stand for Jesus Christ. The only thing that's necessary for evil to prevail is for good men to say and do nothing. And too many of you are saying and doing nothing. I challenge you to wave the flag. I challenge you to have a happy and wonderful and prosperous. Look at me with this flag. I'm having a ball. I'm having <laughs> Jesus Pride Month. God bless you. I'll see you tonight. It's upside down. Turn it over. Turn it over.